Hi, my name is Claire Ward and I am from Auckland, New Zealand. I have decided it's time to speak out for our country and our people. Jacinda Ardern, you think you are saving people's lives, but you are actually killing them. People are losing their shit. The hairdressers, the people in hospitality, the beauticians and all the businesses are suffering at the moment. It is absolutely outrageous and I am dumbfounded that you and your party think it's okay for businesses one day to just all of a sudden have no income. You are expecting these people to carry more than their fair share and that is not equality. Why should they be the ones to suffer? People are frustrated and tired and angry and upset and exhausted and broken and some people are starving all because of your stupid decisions. How can you be that heartless and that selfish? People are losing the will to live and it's absolutely heartbreaking. I'm standing up for everyone who has worked hard to get to where they are today. Those people provide the jobs to keep the economy going and that feeds the people. I cannot understand how you cannot see that. You promised you would help the people. Right now, you are making it worse. What about all the domestic violence? All those poor women and men and children are currently being punched in the face and booted across the room because they are locked down. Shame on you. What about all the mental illness this is creating in children, teenagers, students, women, men and old people? Did you know that Mike King said yesterday that at the moment, every three days, three people take their own lives? Funny how that hasn't been reported in your bought and paid for media. People can't see any future under your leadership. You have taken hope away from all of us. You are so focused on COVID and none of the other serious urgent issues that the people in our country face every day. I was born in New Zealand and I have lived here for nearly 50 years. And as far as I was concerned, Pakeha and Māori were one. But thanks to you, we are being divided on the basis of race and vaccinations. You have created an apartheid society. How dare you? You are turning families and friends against each other, which has to stop. We all love each other. And now you want to us to dislike each other? This is not New Zealand. Unfortunately, you have had to deal with the worst world crisis ever. And unfortunately, we have you and your inadequate party trying to manage this, the Labour Party. Almost none of you have ever owned a business and it shows every day. So how on earth do you understand what people are going through? Oh, that's right. You don't. Oh, and we can see right through your stupid condescending announcements. Good on you, Auckland. Thank you. We know you're doing it tough. Fuck off. We didn't ask to do this. You are making us. Far out, you're good. And sadly, you are manipulating the minority into believing you. Nothing is consistent with your red light, green light, go system. Honestly, it's like kindergarten. I understand the concern about COVID, but we are the only country in the world not living this. You are a coward and you can't even come to your city, Auckland. You bribed the media with 55 million and now instead of reporting the news, you have turned them into government propaganda outlets. The world needs to know that we have gone from heroes to zero and we need to be saved. You are the worst prime minister we have ever had and it's absolutely frightening how much you have changed our country. And before I finish, I would like to make a shout out to that lady up north that sung that beautiful waiata. Good on you. It was absolutely spectacular. You keep standing up to her. Oh, and one last thing. Where is my free chicken? And my thanks for getting vaccinated. Our people need your help and you obviously can't provide them with that. Do the right thing and step aside and stand down. Jacinda Ardern.